Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be showing you how to make it so that AI will change its walking style or its movement style or its, basically its animations when a certain variable is true, i.e. the AI is chasing you, it will run differently to when it's not chasing you. So if we get in and hit play you can see that it's running over there like that, that's its running animation and then as it saw us it's now started chasing us, it's running like that. So it runs ever so slightly differently when it starts chasing us and it stops seeing us and so now it's roaming about again looking like that. And if you just want this normal AI random roam and chase code, I do have different videos going over how to create that, but today I'm just going to show you how to change the animation dependent on that variable. So this is what I'm making today, so without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first step we want to do is you obviously want to have your different animations created. So the way I'm doing this is I'm doing it in a blend space. Now you don't have to do it in a blend space if you don't want, you can just use the animations themselves. But I'm doing it in a blend space so it has the idle and run and walk as well. So let me open up my chasing blend space you can see it's the normal idle walk and run. But then the run is different, sorry. And in the other blend space it's normal, so you have the normal animations. So have the two different animations you want to blend between. Have them as separate animations or blend spaces or whatever you want them to be. So again, I have two separate blend spaces, so I have this one. And then I also have this one here. So the run is like that. So th again, make sure you have those two different ones there. And once you've done that, we want to open up the AI's animation blueprint. So for me, that's AI and MVP. But again, just open up the animation blueprint you are using for your AI. And once you've done that, you should be greeted with something like this, the anim graph. If not, just make your way over to the anim graph and open the state in which the animation is in you want to blend from. So again, I'm doing it from the running, so that's going to be in the idle run blend space state. So I'm going to double click to open that up, and as you can see, we now have the normal blend space in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this out a little bit, and move it down, disconnect it, and out of the result of the output animation pose, I'm instead going to get a blend poses by bool. And what this does is it will simply just change between two different animations or blend spaces or whatever you want, dependent on what this boolean value is. So I'm going to right click on the active value, promote it to a variable, and I'm going to name this chasing, or is chasing, or whatever it is you want it to change on. And I'm going to put that up there like so, and because this is chasing, false wants to be just the normal walking like so. So when this boolean is true, it will play the chasing animations, when it's false, it will play our normal animations. And you can change the blend times as well if you want, but I'm just going to leave them as they are. And if it's true, we obviously want to connect our chasing animations. So for me, that is this chasing blend space here, like so. And the speed is just going to be the same speed value there. So actually, I can just connect that one in there, like so. So again, this is very simply how we're going to change between the different animations which we want to play. So we have the normal running and the chase running dependent on this Boolean value here. So now we just need to set this boolean value to be what we want, so again chasing or not chasing, so true or false. So as this is all we need to do in the animation blueprint, I'm going to compile, save, close that, and I'm going to go and open my AI blueprint. So for me that's just called anim AI there. And once you're in here, you can go to the code which you have. For me again, all I have is just the random roam code and the pawn sensing chase code. Again, set up whatever you have and for whatever you want. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to event begin play and after the random roam or whatever you have on event begin play we're going to cast to and we're going to cast to our animation blueprint. So for me I named that AI underscore anim BP but again cast to the one which you have essentially where you are setting that boolean value of is chasing or whatever you have it. The object however for this cast is we're going to get our mesh and out of that we're going to get anim instance and the return value is then the object. Because the animation blueprint is deriving from the anim instance of the AI's mesh, because the mesh is playing the animations from the animation blueprint, so it all kind of makes sense and goes together like that. And then we're going to right click as anim BP, promote it to variable, and I'm just going to name this anim BP ref, like so. So now we have a reference to the animation blueprint, in which if you drag out of that, you can set or get anything in there, for example, with the chasing boolean there like so. So that is how we're going to be setting the boolean value. So now we just need to find where we want to set it. So if we go to our chasing code which I have, what I'm going to do is off the retrigable delay and the random roam, this is where the AI will stop chasing the player because they've lost sight for more than a second. So after this I'm going to get my anim BP reference there 
and then out of that I'm going to simply set chasing or set is chasing and I'm going to leave it as false so unticked because it is no longer chasing us and then where the AI starts chasing us i.e. after this AI move to here or just before it wherever you want and actually I'll do it before so I can use the same reference but essentially what we're going to do is again set chasing boolean there like so and we're going to tick it so it's setting it to true so again when the AI starts chasing us we're going to set the boolean to true and when it stops we're going to set it to false and that is inside the AnyBP, so it will automatically update that blend poses by bool to change between the normal running and the chasing running. So we can compile, save, close this, and we can hit play because this should work perfectly for us now. So if we hit play, you can see it is running at us and it is chasing us like so. It's following us with that animation. And if I lose sight of it for more than a second, it should go back to its normal running animations like so. And as it saw us there, it changed back to these animations perfectly like that. So this is working great for us. It should run about with its normal animation like so until it sees us, starts chasing us, and it should switch to the other animation as you see there like so. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set it up so the AI will change between different animations and blend between the poses dependent on a different boolean variable or any value which you have. So again for me that is when the AI starts chasing us it will change its run animation to be something different as you can see there. It's a little funky animation there, it's a bit silly, it's not the best, but it's just there to prove the point and it really gets it across. So that is the normal run animation, and when it saw us, it changed to that chasing animation. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.